Oh yeah, what's up guys? This is Chris Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, we're looking at Marvel Studios' Doctor Strange in particular. We're looking at the black bars, the cinematic, the HD, the widescreen effect, or the widescreen HD look that you see in all the recent movies that come out. What am I talking about? Well, today, the number one on trending on YouTube is the new Marvel Studios' Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness trailer. And when I hit play on it, if you look closely, look up at the top there, you'll see that little black bar. I'm going to show you how to do that inside HitFilm Express. And I'm going to show you this because we want to add in production value. We want to make you the best video editor you know. And better yet, we're going to show you how to do it for free using free tools. It's pretty wild and it's, well, it's what we do. So here we go. I've got the uh, Marvel Studio uh, little doodaddy trailer loaded into my screen here or into my um, video editor. And you'll see here as I scroll through it. Basically, we've got a little black bar on the top, little black bar on the bottom. How do we get that? Well, let's delete that. I'm just going to delete that out. And I'm just going to use some really basic footage here. I've just got some stock footage that I downloaded. And you'll see here that I have already replicated it. So let's go ahead and start from scratch and show you how to do it. So here we go. We've got some footage. You can do this with any footage. Just follow along with me. It doesn't matter what kind of video it is. Drop it in like this. Presto. This is full screen. And yeah, there's no black bars. How do we get them? First step is you actually want to go up to your viewer here inside HitFilm Express, and you're going to see this little square. And normally, if you're like a Premiere Pro user or an After Effects user, you'll know that sometimes if you hit that, you can draw shapes, but that does not appear to be the case in HitFilm Express. So left click on this rectangle, and this is going to create a mask. Now I'm just going to eyeball it. So I'm just going to go ahead and click right about here. And I'm going to drag it out. And I think I went a little too high. So let's go with something like this. And yes, I do realize that I am a little bit a little bit too narrow at the top and a little too heavy duty on the bottom. But that's on purpose because I can go ahead and move that mask. And I also realize that this little right, this white line here is outside the bounds. Those things don't really matter too much because I'm now going to move back to the selection tool. And I'm going to center it the way I think think it should be. So I'm just going to eyeball this. And this looks pretty accurate. And if you don't have to be perfect, that is all you got to do. If you want to be like super, super exact and make sure you got it exactly right, what you can do is you can actually add an effect on top. I'm going to go to the effects panel and you're going to look for grid. You've already seen that I've selected it, but all you got to do is type it in grid and presto. It's under generate grid going to left click on that. I'm going to drag and drop it on top. And this is a mess. See, this actually adds a grid on top, but it doesn't, you can't see through it. <laughs> it's not a very good effect if you ask me, but there is a workaround. If you go to grid and then if you look down here, let's go a little bit further. You're going to see that there is a blend mode. We're going to go ahead and change the blend mode from none to let's see which one works best. Multiply does not work. Lighten works perfectly. Okay, so when we do that, we can now see the video in behind the grid. And if we actually look at this, what we want is we want to see that the basically the video is equal up in the grid. So we'll see here that it's touching this line and it's not below. And it's touching this line and it's not below. I've got great eyesight. I've pretty much nailed it first time. But if you don't, if it's not correct, you can always just move it around and, you know, go ahead and make some adjustments to it or actually you want to click on the mask and you can move the mask up you can move the mask down but i had it right the first time so there you go and it's also outside the bounds which is fine so now we take the grid off and presto you have black bars you have cinematic look you've got that hd look in like seconds guys this is a awesome tutorial for those of you that are cin cinematographers you want to get good at making videos and you want to look professional here we go thanks for watching guys ton more stuff coming up stay tuned be back soon